I'm now up. I've eaten breakfast, the kettle is on, and I'm going to bake a boatload of cookies today because Christmas baking session! And I've seen a lot of people doing baking videos this holiday season, and I want to try to do the same thing. I've been terrible at my previous attempts, which no one has ever seen, um, and this time I'm just gonna wing it. I need to be like more spontaneous and just not worry about perfection. So I'm gonna bake Christmas cookies today. I make a lot of Christmas cookies and I'm gonna make three types today and I have like four more that I wanna make eventually, but they don't freeze well, so I have to make them much closer to Christmas. So uh, I'm gonna start with the gingerbread cookies from The Joy of Vegan Baking. I make these first because they have to chill for at least an hour. While the gingerbread is chilling, I'm going to make the chocolate chip chai spice shortbread. That's a really long name. Um, they look like that, except mine aren't gonna look like that. I don't like that shape. I'm gonna make them look like something else. And then the last thing we're gonna make are the Mexican chocolate snickerdoodles, also from this cookbook. They are like chocolate sugar cookies with a cayenne pepper kick, which who doesn't love that? So I gotta go pour my tea and then we'll get started. That bit where I said I was only gonna make half the gingerbread, I lied. We're just gonna make a whole bunch of gingerbread. Someday they're gonna make a story of my life and the subtitle is gonna be, she never sifted any of her dry ingredients because she was super lazy. So I had an oopsie with the margarine for the chai shortbread and basically I melted it too much and so I gotta stick that in the fridge and while that is firming back up, I'm going to measure out some of the stuff for the snickerdoodles and not waste any more time. Notice that I am sifting the dry ingredients this time. This is because one, I am more awake now and two, I have to get the lumps out of the cocoa powder. Nobody wants lumps in their cocoa powder. I gotta go play with a dog. <laughs> now I'm out of breath, but back to making cookies. Okay, I'm gonna whiz this up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna lick these. That's gonna be totally awful, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm not sure if this needs more liquid because it's clumping, but it still seems a bit dry, so when I need it, we will find out. The gingerbread and the shortbread are chilling. I'm back to doing the uh, Mexican chocolate snickerdoodles. I'm going to roll it out and bake a test one to see if I get the thickness right because these are good dunking cookies if they're very thin and crispy, but I like them to be a little bit chewy. And getting the thickness right is always a bit tricky. Test cookie came out perfectly. I am totally on a roll today. It is kind of soft in the center and it's crispy around the edges 
and this size of cutter, which is smaller than I usually use, is like dead on. So time to do the rest of them. The last batch of the Mexican chocolate snickerdoodles is about to go into the oven, which means I'm going to tackle the shortbread next. I think I might have miscalculated about how long to chill this because it's really hard, but I will probably warm it up by working it. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this. I want to use tiny cookie cutters, so I guess I have to work it so I can get it out flat and test the thickness. So I'm just going to do a portion of it. I'm going to just chop off part of this log, roll it out, and then do one of each of these si uh, shapes because if it puffs up, I have to find out which one keeps its shape well enough. And if none of them work, I will just go back to plan A and do coins like I usually do. Okay, so this thickness is half the height of the cookie cutters. Note to self, next time, get chocolate and grate it because these pieces are too big. My, <laughs> my chocolate pieces are too big and so they get in the way of the cookie cutter. Okay, tests have been baked and I think that these two look kind of weird, but the star came out pretty nice. So I'm gonna make them a bit thinner and just go with it. Usually when I'm baking or cooking, I'm listening to an audiobook or a podcast, but I can't really do that while I'm um, filming bits of this. So I have Christmas music going in the background, and uh, while things are baking in the oven and I'm not prepping other stuff like I'm doing right now, I have been reading a little bit. I'm trying to get through Parable of the Talents by Octavia Butler today. It's um not really conducive to the Christmas spirit. It is incredibly depressing and um, I'm kind of <laughs> bribing myself to read um, a chapter at a time. The first book in the series, Parable of the Sower, was really good. It was also really dark, but like the main character herself wasn't experiencing some of the worst atrocities, so I could kind of get through it. But I'm really not enjoying Parable of the Talents. Voila! It took a lot longer than it was supposed to because I wanted to make them fancy and Christmassy, but it's still better than coins. The last of the chai shortbread is in the oven, which means it's time for gingerbread. I'm only gonna work with half of it at a time because it's a little bit softer than usual. I mean, it's been in the fridge for like three and a half hours at this point and it's still very soft, which means I put a bit too much liquid in it. I guess the problem isn't that they're soft, it's that they're a bit too sticky and so they're sticking to everything. This will help with some of the stickiness. I usually don't do this, or I should say I forget to do this because I use the wax paper and it usually doesn't stick to things too bad. So much better with the flour. Should have done that the first time. And that is it. Three different types of cookies. I have a little bit more gingerbread that's cooling on the counter, but I am done. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would, mostly because the shortbread was way finickier than I expected it to be, but that's my own fault. But it all came out really well, and I didn't make any horrific mistakes, so I call that good. There's the doggy. Hey Ava, wanna say hi? Say hi to the internet! <laughs> hi!